Hello, my name is Akshat Tangsale, and I'm the unit coordinator and lecturer for CHE3165 suppression processes. Welcome to the unit. This video is about introducing the staff who will run this unit, talk about the learning and teaching methods that we will apply, how this unit fits in with the rest of the course of engineering, and talk about the assessment activities. I'll also talk to you about the social media that we will be applying in this unit and some tips for success. So let's get into it. Well, my name is Akshat again, and I am the lecturer and unit coordinator for this unit. And running the unit with me is Tan Nguyen, who will be more so in the background rather than running lectures and tutorials. She will be coordinating the unit with the demonstrators and making sure that the unit runs smoothly for the semester. We have eight demonstrators or tutors in the unit. Uh, some of them will be working with you during the tutorials, some in the laboratories, and uh, some in the marking of assignments and tests. So regarding the le learning and teaching activities du during the semester, you will have homework reading task before each lecture, including today. So before you come to the first lecture, I expect that you revise the material that we have covered in mass energy balance and heat and mass transfer. I'll talk to you more about that in a minute. And after you have done your homework reading, there will be a short online quiz. And in the first two weeks, these, two, uh, these quizzes will be marked but won't add to your final score. In the last 10 weeks, those uh, scores will be added to your final grade. I'll talk about more details in a minute when we come to the assessment. Now, when you come to the lectures, I expect you to participate as much as possible, ask questions, um, interact with your peers, and in general, make it as interactive as possible so that everyone gets benefit of being in the lecture theater. Now, after the lectures, you are expected to come to the tutorials and hone in on these concepts that you have learned during the lectures and apply them in solving problems. During the course of the semester, there is only one laboratory, which is in gas absorption. And you will be doing that during week 8 to 10. And uh, timetable is on Moodle if you want to have a look at the timetable now. I'll talk to you about some of the internal assessments, which includes quiz, uh, assignments, laboratory report, as well as tests, and how the feedback will be given to you. Most of the feedback is general uh, for the whole class, but all the assignments that you submit will have individual feedback through the demonstrators on your ass assignment report itself. And that will be returned to you via Moodle again. So where does this unit fit in with the rest of the engineering course? Most of you would have done material energy balances and heat and mass transfer. Obviously, they are prerequisite for this unit because they are applied very strongly in, and uh, we extend that concept further into suppression processes. In material energy balances, what we have learned is the boundary conditions, how a material reacts or changes phase or goes through a, a number of processes before it comes out. All we are interested was how the material balances or energy transfers from one place to the other. Uh, in CHE 3165, what we will do is we will extend that and try to design processes like distillation column, like separation uh, of two liquid phases, and so on, which we did not look at uh, in material balances. Likewise, in heat and mass transfer, what we learned earlier was the rate of heat transfer, or in case of mass transfer, we only looked at fixed law, which was diffusion. Here we extend that, and we look at mass transfer coefficients, which are equivalent to heat transfer coefficients, which we did in 2163 before. Now, 3165 is all about mass transfer. And suppression processes are obviously because of the transfer of mass from one phase to the other or from one system to the other. The main activities that we will be doing is distillation, gas absorption, liquid-liquid extraction, as well as uh, membrane separation. 
and again I will talk to you more about that in the first lecture. Now how this uh, fits into your future the units. In fourth year all of you will be doing design project and you will be designing equipments based on these separation processes like distillation. So this unit enables you to start simple calculations and get the design approximately correct and then you do a detailed design in uh, for the process engineering units. Okay, let's talk about the assessments. As I mentioned before, after homework reading of each week, you will be doing an online quiz before you come to the lectures. In the first two weeks, as I mentioned before, these two are formative. They are marked and the marks are given to you immediately, but these marks do not count towards the final grade. These are given as a practice to you in the first two weeks. From week 3 to week 12, every week the online quiz will have 0.75% of a grade added to your final grade. So overall, over the 10 weeks, 7.5% of the unit is through these online quizzes. Therefore, it is very important for you to do the homework reading because what we want is you prepared uh, in advance before coming to the lectures and that will give you an advantage in learning what is being taught in lecture theatres. During the course of the semester we have three assignments which will be on problem solving and these assignments uh, due dates are given in the unit guide as well as uh, are on Moodle now. And then we have two class tests which also carry 7.5% each and they will be in week 7 and week 12. And there is one laboratory report which you will be doing in a team activity. Uh, team of four will attend a laboratory and then write a report which will be submitted within two weeks of doing the laboratory. Now to stay in contact with your peers as well as demonstrators and me of course, we have a lot of channels. Of course, there are formal channels like the Moodle forum, but we have social media channels like Facebook. So we have created a Facebook page for this unit and I encourage you to join this Facebook page where you can talk to not just your peers but uh, get your concepts clarified through talking to demonstrators or to me directly. I will be posting notifications of uh, eminent deadlines on Facebook as well as on the official forum of Moodle. Of course, all the official uh, notifications will be via Moodle announcement. So anyone who chooses not to join Facebook does not miss out on any notice. I will be also making some of uh, some more videos which will be on topical areas where I feel the need to fill the gap that I haven't been able to cover in the lectures. These may be taking the shape of uh, solving a problem of a tutorial question or assignment question or test questions. So I encourage you to subscribe to the f uh, YouTube page Kemenge Talks and you will be notified of these videos as they come on various channels like Mo Moodle and Facebook. So overall, how do you act so that you are successful in this unit? Well, the most important thing is to stay up to date with the material that is being covered. And to do that, we have the activity of reading every week and then a short online quiz to help you get these concepts better down before you come to the lectures and then we extend those ideas in the lectures so that you gain more by repetition. And then of course you do the tutorial activities where you do a detailed problem solution whereas the online quiz is more of a concept based quiz. Once you revise the problem that has been done in the lectures as well as in tutorials, you have a greater surety that you are up to date with what material has been covered. The assignments are again a way for you to get the concepts right learn the methods of problem solving and then demonstrate that through your assignment. 
But overall, I would like you to have fun during the unit. I think it's an exciting unit and you will enjoy uh, hopefully this semester. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the first lecture. Bye for now.